Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the new course. Well, we have to continue this course. My name is Josue Cuellar. That's my name. So let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá para poder dar inicio. So let's um, restart. Well, let's continue this module. Here we have Miguel, right? Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. How Hello, are how are you? Well, I'm really good. What about you? Everything okay? Excellent. Thank Perfect. you. I like to hear that. Thank you. What about Jorge? Hello, George. How are you doing? Everything good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Good evening. Good evening. Todo bien? Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Jorge Alberto, and here we have Jorge Ernesto, right? Hi, Ernesto. How are you tonight? I guess we, I can hear you, my friend. I don't know if any other, maybe it's the, sometimes Zoom fails and you have to uh, restart the computer, the tablet, or, or the cell phone. A veces toca reiniciarlo. Okay, and we're going to wait and maybe with the headphones, okay? Let's wait a little bit. Here we have Brandon, Alexis. Hello, Brandon. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I guess I have seen you before, Brandon. I guess. Um, yes, right? Model one. Model one, yeah. That's it. Well, I like that. I like to see you here and you are improving. Perfect, my friend. Nice to see you Thanks. again. Okay, let's see. Okay, Ernesto, let's try now. Maybe uh, let's uh, check the, uh, your volume or the microphone, Ernesto. Can you speak? A ver si intentamos, Ernesto, otra vez la prueba de audio. Oh, creo que sí. I guess, yes. Well, he's connecting. Mientras... Oh, yes, Ernesto, yes. Hello? Yes, everything okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I'm fine. How... Good night. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. In the previous classes, you were were you wearing your headset, your headphones, or uh, without a headset, just with your computer or your tablet? Uh, with air earphones. Ah, with air earphones. Yes, earphones. Okay, yes. that's nice. Yes, I uh, I guess. Uh, well, it sounds really good. Thank you, Ernesto. Uh, one question before we continue. Just for well, in that case, Jorge Alberto and Jorge Ernesto. Is there is there any any form to uh, make a difference when uh, the teacher calls you? Maybe one is George or Jorge, or one is Alberto and the other Ernesto. I don't know, or just Jorge Ernesto. Yeah, two, uh, the both names, both names. names. Yes. Okay. Do you have problems with Ernesto? No problem. Okay, can I call you Ernesto? Okay. Of course. Okay, yes. perfect. I like to hear that. I like to solve those things like like I like I like to be practical. So thank you, Ernesto. Thank you. And Jorge Alberto, in your case, is it okay, Jorge or Alberto? Uh, Alberto. Okay, uh, maybe um, Alberto. Alberto. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ern okay, Ernest and Albert. Okay, I like to to use well both both names or any or one of them. Thank you. What about here, uh, Roberto? Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, my friend. Everything okay tonight? Okay. Everything oh. okay. Yeah, I like to hear that. Thank you. Um, what about now, Denise? Hi, Denise. Hello, and welcome, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You are so polite. Mm, how are you tonight? I think tonight is great. <laughs> okay. I like to hear that. Good vibrations. Thank you, Denise. Here we have also Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hey, well, I'm really good. And you? Okay. Fine, thanks. 
thanks. Okay, nice. Do you like Roxana or Roxy or your second name or Roxana is okay? Roxana is okay. Roxana is your real name. Thank you. Okay, here we have. Okay, uh, Alex. Yes, you are on your way. Sí, vas de camino. No hay problema. Cuando alguien vaya de camino, ah, eso sí, es bastante importante. Si alguno de ustedes va saliendo tarde del trabajo o, o va en tráfico y todo eso, eh, es importante que me notifiquen a través de los mensajes de Zoom, porque los de WhatsApp casi no los veo. Um, en, en ese sentido, va a ser importante, así no los estoy llamando y no me escucho como que estoy hablando con mi conciencia, ¿verdad? Sino que hay una respuesta. Me gusta que haya una respuesta, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's it. Thank you. Um, suele pasar. Ana Victoria, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Ana, what do you prefer? Ana or Victoria or Vicky or Annie or Al? Victoria or Vicky. Vicky, I would like to call you Vicky if you don't have okay. problems with Thank that. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. And here we have. We all... didn't know that, Ana Victoria. Okay. <laughs> hey, Vicky. I don't like... Vicky, I'm sorry. Vicky is the other identity. I guess she's a heroine, right? At night. Good, Vicky. Tiene otra identidad. Me alegra saberlo. And here we have Predis Landaverde. Let's check this name. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Freddy. Freddy's, right? Freddy's. Uh -huh. Freddy's, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, Freddy's. Nice. Interesting. How are you nice. tonight? I'm oh, very good. Thank you. Very like good. Um, good jobs. Perfect. I see you are very smiley. Creo que este grupo es bastante sonriente. Me agrada. Thank you, Freddy. What about <laughs> okay. What about Morelia? Hi, Morelia. Hi, teacher. Everything okay? Todo bien? Yes. Okay, perfect. Morelia. Interesting name. I like it. Thank you. You prefer Morelia you. or Giselle? Uh, Morelia. Morelia. It's more common. It sounds like very dramatic, like from soap opera, como de novelas, escucha, but nice. I like it. That was the inspiration. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Yes. Okay. La, la, la telenovela del 98. Mm, soap opera from 80s, I guess. Thank you. Yeah. More information for my brain. Thank you, Morelia. Uh, who okay. else? Well, Alex is on his way. Uh, Maritza is listener. Raquel, are you there? Hi. I don't Hi, know. teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. I like to hear that. Thank you. Thank you for being here on time. And here we have Nancy, Carolina. Are you there? Yeah. Picture. Hello, everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Sí. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. Um, I'm sure that well Maritza says listener. Okay, Maritza. Gracias por avisarme. Thank you. I always appreciate. Siempre aprecio mucho cuando me avisan. When you notify. Okay. Um well. Let me check here. I'm going to present myself, um, but before I'm, I need some some PowerPoint presentation so you can. Okay. Okay. Omit this. This is the basic model. Okay, but this is like a very generic uh, slide. So as you can see, this is me but younger, of course, like 10 years younger. Now I'm very, but very different. And unfortunately, the time is passing by so quick. So if you notice, if you notice here, we have some of my uh, background experience. I have worked in different uh, levels. I have worked uh, with kids and I have worked with adults. So it's kind of interesting to have uh, that experience because you can notice uh, well the characteristics of every level. 
I have worked in private area and public area. And yes, I have the, this degree, licenciatura in Idioma Inglés course and some other courses, right? Quiero que me recuerden así como estoy encima, please. Okay, now let's move with the requirements. Ustedes ya saben los requisitos. Of course, you are very experienced students or participants. You already know that you have to present your uh, homeworks. I mean, from the platform, right? And here we have a midterm and a final test as, guess, uh, as well, right? And we are going to use this a lot. I mean, the chat, it's, uh, well, the chat is very important for me because I consider that we can express different ideas and opinions by using the chat. And maybe in your previous courses was not a very useful tool, but we're going to use it, okay? Of course, breakout rooms, camera chat, and silence. Something really important that I want to tell you is that I really love opinions. I love points of view and different points of view. So, having said that, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about some activities that we're going to do. Yo les llamo speaking activities. Las speaking activities son preguntas de diferente tema, different topic that I'm going to send you mainly in the morning. Normalmente en la mañana se los voy a enviar. So, you can take a look to this question and you have three options. One, you can read about this or you can generate your idea. You can text it, right? Or you can do anything. ¿A qué me refiero con eso? En, en que estas preguntas sirven. It, it, they work to make you more fluent, para hacerlos más flu, tenerles más fluidez. Something really important in my methodology is that participants have to speak a lot, but in different topics. Because if you're talking about just one thing, uh, it is like logical, Yes, it is important, but you use the same vocabulary. And uh, if you apply your your vocabulary in different topics, in different contexts, it means that your English is going to, to be better, believe me. So imagine a person is talking about industrial uh, development or business administration, but suddenly a person talks about your achievements or a person says, okay, tell me one of your weaknesses or a person asks you about, tell me one of your personal goals. It is important how to express your ideas in your job and your daily life. So that's why I consider speaking activities as a successful tool. Es una herramienta que tengo un par de años de implementarla y me sirven bastante. Creo que hacen las clases más entretenidas. Ok. So, tonight we're going to have two. Vamos a tener dos. Y ya se las voy a mostrar. Uh, ok, Albert. Because I have problems with my... Mm. Ok, my friend. So sorry. Um, como les mencioné, speaking activities. Eh, se los explico en español para que estemos bien claros. Van a ser normalmente dos durante la clase. Van a hacer preguntas random a veces. La primera es esta. What's your last purchase? ¿Cuál fue su última compra? It's like, what? Teacher, it was pupusas. Okay, yeah, but make details. Give me more about this. Maybe niña titas pupusería is a really good one. Maybe you recommend it. Okay, so this is one. And the other, because I'm, I'm saying this in advance, lo estoy diciendo en, eh, que Adelant de manera adelantada para que tengamos una idea. And the second one, y para que preparen sus eh, respuestas. The second speaking activity is what is your greatest achievement? ¿Cuál es su logro más grande? You can talk about personal achievement. You can talk about professional achievement, about family, about money, about be being famous. I don't know. Depends on you. Okay? So this is part of my methodology. And I like to have diversity in activities. 
Okay, I like this because I have been student as, as you are now. He sido estudiante, créanme. He bostezado tantas veces. So that's why. Okay, um, this is one. The other is that you're going to talk a lot in my class, okay? And I guess that is going to be really, really good, okay? I like to speak. I love speaking, but I prefer listening, right? So that's it. So in this case, the class is uh, talking about procedures. I know that you were talking about this with the, the, the former teacher, the previous teacher, that I'm really sure that he's a good one. He's a grand teacher, but he had some issues, right? Some other condition. So I have to continue with this. I hope you can enjoy my class and try to adapt to my methodology, okay? I try to make some activities like 10 minutes or maybe some activities, they take five minutes, then it is better, right? Okay. How I check the attendance list. Como reviso la, como chequeo la lista de asistencia. Um, I'm going to check it twice at the beginning and at the end. But at the beginning, I always present some phrases that I consider really useful. Siempre presento estas frases. ¿Cómo vamos a pasar lista? Yo voy a llamar, por ejemplo, I'm going to call, I'm going to say Alex Enoch Ramírez. Sé que él, él va de camino. Pero entonces, Alex me dice, Hi, teacher. Hello. O puede decir present. Good evening. I'm here. I'm breathing. Respiro. No, todavía vivo con deuda, pero aquí estoy. And after that, you have to say one of these phrases, the one that you like the most, la que más le guste. Why, teacher, why are you presenting these phrases? Um, because every teacher, well, eh, well, in my that happened to me, that the teachers, okay, how are you? How are you? Yeah. But there are other forms to say, how are you? Or how are you? You can say, how is everything? How have you been? How are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How is it going? How are the things going? And if you apply one of these questions instead of saying, how are you? You can be in a basic level, but your English is going to sound really nice. Okay? So you are scaling to another level. And that's one of my objectives that you can acquire learn and apply new vocabulary and new phrases, okay? Some other example is, we normally say, well, when a person asks, how are you? ¿Qué decimos cuando alguien pregunta, how are you? Todos decimos, fine. Pero nadie dice, nadie, nadie dice, on the top of the world. Nadie dice, better than yesterday. Oh, so far, so good. So there are different forms in that we can use even very basic uh, phrases, but really interesting, ¿ok? Así que esta es una de las razones por las que yo siempre presento nuevo, nuevas frases o palabras que ya conocen, pero hay que intentar usarlas, ¿ok? Do we have questions so far? No hay dudas. Ok, nice. So I'm going to check the attendance list. Please remember to say hi, hello, good evening. Okay, no good night porque good night is para dormir. Okay, so and after saying that, you have to read one of these uh, phrases. Okay, ways to say, ways, ways to ask, how are you? Number one is, how is everything? How, is everything? how have you been? Okay, here we have also, um, how are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How is it going? This is my favorite. How is it going? How are the things going? Okay. So let's listen to Anna Raquel. Are you there? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. One of these phrases, please. Léeme cualquiera de estas. Wow. Everything. Okay, thank you. How is everything? Yeah. 
Uh, Vicky? Hi there. Hi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cualquiera. Anyway. Uh, okay. How how are you feeling? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Okay. Thank you. Uh, Brandon? Present teacher. Thank you. How is it mm -hmm. going? Perfect. Denise? Hi, how, how, how have you been? Perfect, thank you, Denise. Uh, Fredis? Um, how is it going? Perfect. Uh, Albert? Hello, Albert. Perfect, how was your day? Thank you, I'm sorry, my friend. Yeah, I remember that you are not feeling good. Thank you for answering. Um, Ernesto? Hey, Ernesto. Hi, teacher. What's new with you? Perfect. Okay. Luis Eduardo. Do we have Luis Eduardo? Okay. No, by now. Maria Jose. Mm, okay. Not by now. Uh, Maritza. Present. Uh, How is it going? Okay. Thank you, Maritza. Uh, Miguel. How was your day? Thank you. How are you doing? Good. Morelia. Present. What's new Hi. with you? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Nancy. Present. How is how is you, it going? Mm -hmm. how, how is, is it going? Mm -hmm. How is it going? How is it going? Uh -huh. Te vas a dar cuenta que después, uh, later, you can join some, some uh, letters. Hay unas letras que como que se unen. How is it going? Uh -huh. En lugar de decir, how is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Yeah, you sound like more natural. Se escucha como más natural, right? So that's it. Thank you. Oscar. Yeah. No, Oscar, by now. Okay, Roberto. Robert. How are you being? Thank you. Roxana. How is everything? Yeah, that's it. How is everything? Okay. So uh, if you notice, these phrases are really easy, but we don't use them. So that's, uh, that's the point of what I'm saying. Well, let's continue. Um, let's move with the with this. What's your last purchase? I need you to please uh, text here. For example, you can. Okay. You can say, yeah, this a pair of shoes. That's my my that's my my answer. Now you go. Depends. Uh, on your well the order uh, it is not important you can write food or objects or technology stuffs okay devices you can write i don't know maybe sponsor tickets a car a plane a boat a house i don't know it can be a blouse okay i'm going to give you a couple of, of seconds so you think about it Remember that you're going to talk about this uh this item, this the, the this object. Okay. So just write the name of this and then we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you like, yeah, like two minutes. Think about what you you want to to speak. Remember that everybody is going to spread, everybody is going to pass. I like the participations of every participant. I'll be waiting for your answers.
Okay, let's listen what you got. Okay, I said a pair of shoes. In my case, um, I like uh, leather shoes, uh, brown, light brown shoes. Um, during this year, I didn't buy any pair of shoes. So this month was uh, the, the one, right? That I said, okay, I need a pair of shoes. Okay, so that's it. And we're going to talk about now with Denise. Okay, tell me about your medicine. What kind of medicine did you buy? Uh, yes, I went to the drugstore yesterday and I bought some medicine for my dogs. It wasn't for me. It, it ah, was for my Okay, yeah. and how, how is he now? Okay, better? It's better. He, mm. Yes, he had a scratch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and now it's better. Okay, I like it. Okay, so that's nice. Good. Um, thank you. Some medicine for your dog. What's the name of your dog, Denise? Uh, his name is Garu. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, Garu. Like the boyfriend of, of, of Puka. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Garu. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay. I have an idea. Thank you, Denise. Really nice. Okay, here we have uh, Roxana, a black sweater. Okay, tell me, uh, Roxana, when did you buy? ¿Cuándo lo compraste? When? Well, I went on Saturday to Mall Store and I buy a black sweater. Okay, nice. Perfect. Sweat, sudor. Sweater, sudadera. So that is sweater. Sweater. Mm -hmm, sweater. Because yes. if you say sweeter, sweet, dulce. Sí. Sweeter, como... Yes. I oh, confused. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is like because I, I, I guess you Vení were cooking. Acá. Okay. So. Yes, I confused, but it's sweater. A black okay. sweater. Thank you, black sweater. Perfect. Okay. Que le está repartiendo ahorita. Okay, uh, okay, black sweater, nice, um, perfect, especially for these days. Okay, the, the last week was really a freezing one. The wind was very crazy, right? So, and even the, the rain. A good, a good purchase. Buena compra, thank you. Uh, Raquel, what about you? You said Pizza Hut, right? Okay. Uh, okay, do you remember the ingredients or what uh, speciality, what was maybe the meat lovers, uh, full cheese or four cheese, I don't know what is, or four seasons. Do you remember? Or pepperoni or something like that? Pepperoni. Okay, you like it. Okay, for your family or for your for yourself? Um, what my family. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Raquel. Okay, Brandon, what about you? A bag. A teacher. Okay, nice. A bag. Do you mean for for what? For clothes or for uh, taking your, your sneakers or your notebooks? Uh, or, or it's a plastic bag? No, I don't know. Uh, sorry, it is a uh, bolsa bag. Backpack. Backpack. Ah, okay, yeah. a backpack. Yeah. Nice. Okay, perfect. Yeah. What color is it? Yes. Blue. Blue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about the, the other backpack that you have? How many years of having the old uh, backpack? One year, maybe one year. One year. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Because there are some backpacks that we have then for five years, maybe, or eight. Depends, right? Depends. Yeah, but... Uh, the color the the backpack. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't like the color. Ah, the new one. You don't like it or the previous? Well, the previous. Ah, the previous. I didn't you don't like it. it. Ah, you were not feeling good, right, with the colors? Because it, mm, I it's, didn't it's, it's, it's orange, <laughs> but I, I don't like. It. Yeah. Okay. And this one is blue. Yeah. Okay. Good decision. Yeah. Blue is always <laughs> nice. Thank you, Randall. Very nice. You are happy with your portrait. Okay. Yes. Um, Predis. Wow, red motorcycle. Congratulations, Predis. 
Hi, teacher. Congratulations. What is the brand? ¿Qué marca es? Es Yamaha. Wow. Good one. Okay. That's nice. And tell me, um, did you have another motorcycle before? Yes, I am. Uh, I have a motorcycle blue. Mm -hmm. and, a blue motorcycle. And this one, what color is this? Yamaha motorcycle. Red. Oh, wow. Red. And brand is a Honda. Okay. Very interesting. Are you happy with your purchase? Yeah. Yeah. You, you look really happy. Believe me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Freddy. Very nice. I like it. Uh, Ernest. I don't know if Ernesto to me. Vamos a ver si Ernesto es. Yes, Ernest. Okay, tell me. A lot of coffee and cereal. Okay. In the you went to the supermarket? Or where, Ernesto? Mm, uh, we can hear you. No te escuchamos. I'm sorry. Vamos a probar nuevamente. Let's try again. Mm -mm. Not. No. We're going to wait a little bit, okay? And then we continue with you, Ernest. Okay. Nancy M. I don't know what is that for. M and M. Chocolate or what, Nancy? Well, estaba escribiendo y por eso es que ah, se me fue okay. el no, no problem, no problem. Okay, let we continue. We're, we're going to continue with you later. Now we go with Vicky. Socks. Okay. What color are they, Vicky? <laughs> I I bought um, socks for my daughter. Oh, for um, your daughter. Mm -hmm. Pink, okay. white, and. Purple. Oh, the purple. Color. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Okay, when we say a pair of socks, okay, similar to a pair of, pair. of shoes, a pair of glasses, but good. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess. Yes. Thank you. Really nice, Vicky. Morelia, medicine. Yes. Come on. For yourself or for your pet, uh, for any relative? No, I... I bought medicine because my sister-in-law is sick. Mm -hmm. So I had to take her. Okay, nice. I guess it was the flu or cold. It's flu. Yeah. Especially for the weather, right? Like these days. Yeah. Okay, wow. You are a really nice with your sister-in-law. You love her. Right? Yes. I it's had not to so take common, her. but good. <laughs> We have a good relationship. Yeah, that's really good. Perfect. I like to hear that. Todavía creo en la humanidad. I still believe in human beings. Thank you, Morelia. Okay, Nancy, what about you? Uh, yeah. Was not and washers. Okay, Nancy. I I bought I bought it for the this laboratory uh, okay. where I work. Ah, you work in the lab. Okay, perfect. And how much time have you been working there in that company? A lot of years, maybe. Okay, I guess it is a yes. Uh, Miguel, my last purchase was Hello. a bicycle. Hello, Miguel. Nice, a bicycle. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, okay, tell me. Um, uh, uh, one month ago, my last purchase was a bicycle because I like to ride a bicycle. Yeah, right. A bicycle is really healthy, very nice. And yeah. how much time have you practiced this? Because it's a sport. Right. Mm -hmm. In on weekend, 
in the morning, I go mm. to roll about uh, five and ten uh, miles, kilometers. Miles. miles. Miles or kilometers. Miles. Miles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. And then, and then is, uh, I like uh, watching in the park and in, in the river. Mm -hmm. I watching as how can I say todos los lugares. Yes, everywhere you enjoy, enjoy everywhere. practicing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Very nice. Congratulations. Uh, I guess. Well, how much time have you practiced in this sport? Two years, five years, riding a bicycle, or more? Mm. Twice a week. Oh, nice. But I mean, yes. uh, how many years? ¿Cuántos años tiene de practicar eso? How many years of practicing riding uh -huh. a bike? When I was a younger, when oh. I remember I have a, more or less um, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it is good. You are in a good condition. Yeah, that's a good yeah. example to follow. Congratulations, Miguel. Thank you, I teacher. Hope you can enjoy your bicycle. Okay, and Ernesto, how how about you? Everything okay with the with the sound? No, my friend. ¿Alguien lo puede escuchar? Eh, Roberto, ¿lo escuchas? Denise. No. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, it's, ahora sí. Now, yes. We can hear you. Hi. Hello. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can, can you hear, hear you. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh... My last purchase was a lot of coffee and cereal. I was to the supermarket tonight. Okay, nice. I went, right? I went. I went. Yeah, perfect. Okay. How often do you go to the supermarket to buy coffee and cereal? Once a week or two times a week or four times a month? Once a week. No, oh, once a week. Okay, that's nice. Hey, you are a coffee lover, right? You love coffee. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, okay. Yes, Tell I me. am. Okay, a question just, just for for us to know, and we continue with the other activity. Tell me how many cups of coffee do you drink per day? In my case, I can say three cups. You tell me. Be honest. Some people don't like coffee, and that's good because they drink tea or chocolate or milk. In my case, I drink three cups, sometimes four, when I need more energy. Okay? Text, please, and be sincere. Nobody's going to say, come on, what's going on with you? Okay. You tell me. Text. And let's reach. Come on, and it's six every day. Six cups. Well, my friend, you I guess you will have a lot of energy during this day. Okay, good. Well, six. It is uh Denise Juan. Sometimes. Yes, sometimes I don't believe. But okay, one. Sometimes. Okay, don't be shy. No sean tímidos como el teacher. Okay, Roberto, three cups. Three cups, okay, Roberto. The morning, the afternoon, and at night. Okay. Brandon, maybe one day, one a day, similar to Denise. And uh, me too, six or more. And tea. Vicky, okay. I hope you're you you're drinking water, okay. Uh, but coffee, it it's it's delicious. I know. Roxana, three cups. Morelia, two cups with milk. Oh, that's kind of different, right? With milk, it's another flavor. Nancy, one cup a day. 
I guess Ernesto and Victoria drinks all the cups that all of you drink one day. Freddy's three to four cups. Okay. Nice. I guess we are in the normal range, right? Okay. Thank you. Sugar, yes, Ernesto. Well, that's another point, right? No sugar. Ernesto. Okay. okay. There are some that they, they like a lot of sugar. I don't know why. But yeah, the less sugar, the better. Well, thank you for your, for being honest. Thank you. Let's continue with this. Well, um, I guess you finished uh, with uh, some content. Yeah. I watched the the video, well, part of the video of the Friday's class. And you were working with the teacher in this aspect, right? The procedures on the restaurants, okay? So that's it. Um, here we have this, and you completed this, okay? Handle, confirm, payment, reading, notify. And we completed this, right? So there's no problem. One question. There is... 10 tips to improve restaurant service. There, it is a text. Did you read that? Leyeron eso? Did you have this written activity? Yes? No? Mm, Ernesto Morelia? I don't remember, teacher. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, uh, we saw a video. I, I remember. We saw a video uh -huh. about... about okay. Some, some, I don't remember, but I remember that, that we saw a about video. something. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, thank you. Yes, we're not going to watch that video, of course, because you already did it. But we're going to continue with this, and, and here we have uh, with the same uh, topic, right? Here, here we have match the procedures to their descriptions. Okay, here we have. Towing, food, a hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase. That is a word that we already used, right, in the speaking activity before. And tasting method, okay? Okay, towing food, hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase, tasting method. And here we have this, right? We're going to read one of these, well, one by one, the descriptions, and then you tell me what, uh, which, uh, which one of these words belongs to these descriptions. Okay, so maybe Roberto, can you help me please? Reading the first, wash your hands. By now, we just have to read, okay? Just help me reading this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands. And four four amps with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you. Four arms. Well, here we have the arms, four arms, el antebrazo. Okay. And here we have a uh, this word is very important. Let me ask because sometimes we can confuse. Uh, Soap is jabón. Soup, sopa. For example, magi, maruchan, uh, I don't know, chicken, whatever. Tortillas, soup, okay? So the pronunciation here is like this. And the pronunciation of this one is this. And I know that this pronunciation sounds like this right because it's kind of confusing but no soap is this and this is soap okay you use soap uh, to clean your hands or your body when you take a shower and you uh, take or drink soup especially um, at noon or during the, the lunch okay so soap and soup. 
So try to, to not confuse the, these words. Mm -hmm. And here we have a lot of, this is something that I consider kind of complicated in English because we have words that are sim similar or they're confusing, right? For example, another is, Actually, uh, actually, realmente, currently, actualmente. But actually sounds like actualmente, right? It sounds like that, but it's not that, right? So part of the vocabulary that can, well, can be like a problem, okay? Let's continue. Thank you, Roberto. Uh, we go now with Freddy's. Take a sample. Number, the next uh, text. Please help me reading. Freddy's, could you help me, please? Read it. Okay, mm -hmm. this, take a sample of the food you watch to taste, taste. Mm -hmm. Taste on a... On a... Que no, no lo tengo en la mano. Spoon. Okay, can you see it? Puedes verlo acá? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm sharing the screen. ¿Dónde? Acá. Mm, ¿Sí se puede ver lo que estoy compartiendo? I'm sharing. Yes, right? Yes, teacher. Ok. Uh, this is yes, marked teacher. with red. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. This is marked with red color. Aquí lo marqué con rojo. Ok. Ok. This. Spoon. Mm -hmm. This take a sample of the food you watch to taste. On a okay. spoon. Spoon. Mm -hmm. Put the sample on the second speed. Spoon away. Spoon weight from the cooling art and taste the product. Mm -hmm. Cooking. Cooking area and taste the product. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. So um, the first one. Roberto said, was your hands, okay? The set and forearms and so on. The second, take a sample of the food you want. Taste on a spoon, cuchara, spoon, okay? And put the sample on a second spoon, thank you. Let's continue with next. Miguel, could you help me with this? Buy package. Okay. Mm -hmm. Buy package food only from licensed suppliers. Thank you. Yeah, the licensed suppliers. Okay, the licensed suppliers are the proper suppliers. I mean, the original ones, right? So that's it. Uh, we have license and we have when something is original and when something is fake or counterfeit. When it's a copycat, it's a copy. But the license is the, the proper uh, providers proveedores originales y legales. Thank you. Okay, let's move with Brandon. Uh, the next one to let Papi. Okay. to let frozen uh, food become uh, warmer Papa. until it Papi. is ready Papi. to cook. Papi. Okay, I understand Brandon. Sometimes it happens. Thank you, yeah. No problem with your kid. Say hi to your kid from my from my side. Okay. Yeah, to let frozen food become warmer. Frozen, it's in the refrigerator, in the fridge. Okay, you take it and you become warmer. So it is not a uh, frozen anymore, right? So from the refrigerator or in from the yeah, the, the freezer, you put it away. Thank you. Let's move now with Denise. Employees. 
that employees who receive and storage food organize items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Bacteria, thank you. Okay, so the employees, the workers, okay, they receive the storage food and they organize, right, the, all the items in the correct to avoid bacteria or virus or whatever. Thank you. What about Morelia? Help me, please, with equipment. Equipment is washed, rinsed, rinsed and Rinse. disinfected after each dish is prepared. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. So here we have the equipment. We have all the tools to prepare something. And uh, they are washed and rinsed, right? And yeah, disinfected after each dish is prepared. So now we have like a better idea about these descriptions. And here we have this. So in food, hand washing, sanitizing, uh, food storage or taste, tasting method. Um, if you want to participate, please, uh, I need you to raise your hand. Necesito que levanten su mano. A mí me gusta normalmente que hagan eso. I like this because this is like order. Like this. No, like this. When you do this, it means that you want to participate. Okay? Because sometimes there are two or three participants speaking at the same time. It is kind of difficult, right? And then you say, ah, oh, teacher, I wanted to participate, but you prefer the other person. That's it. So, um, do we have volunteers? You tell me if look at look at the I'm sorry look at the vocabulary and if you find a word that uh it's like okay here we have some we have B, Vicky and Morelia I'm sorry mm -hmm. I was uh, not I think Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the number the the first is letter B, hand washing. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, hand washing. Perfect. So we're going to. Okay. Okay, hand washing, and we're going to mark this as taken. Um, Morelia, and then Denise. Um, the second one maybe is tasting method. Method. Okay. Yep, tasting method. Mm -hmm. It is like a form, right? to check okay Dennis you go and then Roxana um, the next the next one is purchase purchase, mm -hmm. purchase. yeah of purchase. course okay. yeah that's it Easy peasy. Okay, let me check this. I'm sorry, I'm having difficulties with my computer. Yeah, that's it. And here we have Roxana, right? Yes. The mm -hmm. the fourth is letter A. Okay. Towing food. No, I don't know how yeah. to pronounce. Yeah, towing. Towing food. Towing food. Yeah. And we do this. I will tell you why. January 1st. After you have eaten a lot, there are some food. That, well, there is food that it's on the fridge. Cuando van a descongelar cosas, when you're going to. 
to put some things and then write. You want to eat them. Uh, please, some other. Yeah, Roxana, thank you. Roberto, tell me. The number five could be food storage. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Food storage. Yes, and you can notice this word storage when you want to buy a cell phone, for example, or a TV. You uh, ask for some characteristics and they say, okay, the storage is so. Thank you. Okay, let's move now with who else? The last one. Easy, right? As we have all the wa all the others sanitizing. So that's it. Okay. Hand washing, tasting method, purchase, towing food, food storage, and sanitizing. So this is part of what we have uh, worked and completed. Well, we go with another activity. And here we have this. And we have our reading part. It is this material comes in the manual. So what we're going to do. And we're going to read. Uh, we're going to read a text that is called 10 things restaurants can do to improve service. Okay, this is the topic, the main topic, but we have 10 uh, suggestions or 10 advice. Okay, so I'm going to work, well, you're going to work in pairs and I'm going to assign you one tip to every team. Okay, this is the, the instruction. Work in pairs, read the article, and present two main ideas. Okay, this is the article. I'm going to send you the link so you can have access to, to this article because this is, um, it is a website. And for example, for example, I this is the, the, the article. You don't have to read all the article. Okay, listen to this. You don't have to read all the article. You have to read the paragraph or the text that I assign you, the text that I tell you. For example, here I have the introduction. Okay, service. Well, 10 things restaurants can do to improve service. Here we have restaurants are built on two major principles, serves, and so on. But here we have number one, get clear on what great service looks like for your restaurant and write it down. Two, give your team the tools that they need. Three, great service doesn't happen overnight. There are no fast fixes. Okay, so one example, Roberto and Denise, let's imagine they are working together. And I say, okay, Roberto and Denise, you're going to have great service. Doesn't happen overnight. Okay? So, Roberto and Denise, they have to read these parts and you have to take two main ideas. Deben de tomar dos ideas principales. And then present those ideas to the class. Luego van a presentar esas dos ideas a la clase. Okay. We have a lot of text, but uh, there are some parts. So look, I'm going to divide. Voy a dividir, okay? One part to everything, right? So um, I'm going to send this. Uh, I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group. So you can have like the link and check it, right? I'm going to organize the teams. Voy a organizar los equipos. Just give me a second. Okay, here we have. Okay, I already sent the, the link in which you can 
visit the website and take a look at this, okay? First, uh, well, this activity may take like 10 minutes, okay? Around 10 minutes. So please, let's go to this and then I'm going to I'm going to assign you the, the part that you're going to, to, to read. ¿verdad? Luego van a ver la parte que les corresponde, la leen, and then remember, present two main ideas. Presenten dos ideas principales, ¿ok? So. I will need you to accept the request. Voy a necesitar que acepte una solicitud. Ya se les envía. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. A cada uno ya les voy a enviar la parte que le corresponde, okay? Every part. See you in a moment. Raquel? Let's stop for I. I don't know if you are there. Hola Raquel, ¿todo bien? No me pude unir al principio, teacher, me sacó de un solo de la clase, voy a intentar otra vez. Ya te la voy a enviar, solo dame un minuto. Mientras les asigno los temas.
Bien, eh, Raquel, ya te voy a enviar. ¿Te recuerdas? Estabas en A1, ¿verdad? Mm, la 3 parece que era tu. Uh -huh. Te voy a enviar a la 1. Ok, aquí hay espacio. Ok, please accept.
Ok. Y ya, ya, no, ya nos terminó el tiempo. Hello, my friends. ¿Cómo van? No, todavía tienen algo de tiempo. Ah, ok. Es que hasta hace poco hemos visto los temas. Ah, sí. Sí, tuvimos un poco de, de, de dificultad para... Ajá. No les aparece aquí que... que... ¿Qué sala es? Permitime, déjame ver. Ya, ya, la hicimos, ya la hice pequeña y ya, ya me salió que soy la, somos la sala 5. Uh -huh. Ok. Vale. Muy bien, adelante, denle una ley rápida y luego lo continuamos, ¿ok? Ok. Uh -huh.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. Now that we have, we had some time. And remember, we have just 28 minutes and we finished. 28 minutos y terminamos. So, in this part, I need you to, if you want to use your own words, you can do it. But if you found some interesting ideas or words, you can take them from the text. So, for example, let's see the chat. Antes que nada. Um, no lograba ver el, dos cosas. Primero, ¿qué, ¿qué número de sala era? ¿Sí se lograba ver? No. ¿Morelia? Sí, se veía. Yo no. no. Uh, vale. Bueno, parte, part of the learning process. Parte del aprendizaje. Dos. Second. Podían ver los mensajes de Zoom. The chat. No, no se puede. No. No, no teacher. Bien, ya no voy a confiarme en eso entonces. Ok. Well, um, vean si quieren decir un extracto de, de, from the paragraph if you found some interesting part. Ok. For example, um, a los que les toque la sala 4. Puede ser así. Let's see. Or. One example. Um, I need you to write in the in the in the chat like this. Uh, write and uh, the number, the number of, of the uh, topic, right? And then uh, write the the phrase, two phrases or two ideas. For example, teach service every day. This is an example. One example, okay? Please need to learn mm -hmm, every day from their bus, okay? And remember to write the topic of the paragraph that you read, el tema del paragraph, okay? Thank you, Brandon, okay? And the rest, remember, one of your, of the participants can do it, okay? In the case of, in the case of Vicky or Eduardo, okay? No problem, one person. Um, let's see Alex and Roxana okay Nancy and Roberto so one one of you write this okay as I told you if you have your ideas you tienen sus ideas present them if not take part of the most important or interesting parts in the paragraph and and type them text text it uh, in the chat I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Teacher, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. We have to write the two, the two um, ideas. Ideas mm -hmm. in the chat. Okay. Yeah, in the chat, similar to Brandon. Okay, write number two or five, and then mm -hmm, the ideas. And they don't, they don't have to be too loud. Tienen que ser tan largo. Depends on you, okay?
Okay, let's start with Brandon, please. Could you read your uh, ideas or your idea, please? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, my, my topic is great service yeah. doesn't happen. Earning there are not fast fixes. Okay, mm -hmm. my idea is uh, to achieve good service, you have to be cons consistent with the work team that provides the service. It's unnecessary to offer them incentives at less once a year, which is why hospitality is very important. Travels really appre appreciate kindness. Yes, appreciate. I Kind, appreciate definitely kind. yeah i'm totally well i'm totally in agreement about this yeah that is good service um yeah work team very very important thank you Brandon. let's let go with denise and then morelia okay denise okay our, our topic was give great service to your staff so your staff can give great service to your guests and for the first idea, we have when the employees feel good at their job and when they feel they have the manager support, they are going to work better. Definitely. And next one. And the next one, fear and anger. Anger is not good for the teamwork because the team lose the hospitality and they do their job just because they have to and not because they like it. Yeah, it is part of the fear. Thank you. Just one detail, Denise. Uh, the team loses hospitality. Okay. 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 Team. Los equipos, the teams lose. Yeah, I, I agree. Fear, and if you notice in the company, there is a lot of fear between employees and coordinator, manager, supervisor. It is like very stressful um, environment. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Brandon. Denise, very nice points. Uh, Morelia, and then we go with Ernesto. Okay, Morelia, tell us. Okay, our topic was write out a training plan and expectations for every, every position at your restaurant. Mm -hmm. We're talking that is very important to uh, have clear guidelines for our employees because um, they have to, to get a a training, a general training about what are the expectations for a restaurant, what is the, the goal and what is the, the kind of service that we are, we want to, to give. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I agree. A general training, it is that everybody, well, different employees come and they say, okay, we are on the same page, okay? We work like this and clear guidelines. Believe me, this is so, but so important when we have clear instructions, guidelines, or rules, and um, something that you that your work can be based on. So that's it. Thank you, Marilia. Mm -hmm. Good one. Okay, Ernest Hemingway, topic three, sure. right? Okay, teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, our topic is number three. Great, great service doesn't happen overnight. There are no fat, there are no fat fixes. Uh, it's necessary to be constant. The culture of the hospitality doesn't boil fat. It's something that building along the time we must keep to employees motivated and knowledge of the culture of the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course, thank you. And it is like that. It doesn't. It doesn't happen from one day to another, or from one second to other, right? It is a process, and definitely, yeah, to be constant. The culture or hospitality, yes, and even it, it. It is not that that easy to work that, right? Yeah, it, it is not that, but uh, it is like the best form to have like a good environment. Thank you, Ernest. Uh, Nancy, Joel. your turn. Uh, our topic four, 
budget service every day. ID one, great service is wrong, hospitality, requires daily attention and coaching. Idea two, deal with service problem with perseverance, having a common common goal. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Great service is ground, okay? Uh, well, daily attention. It is like when you have a restaurant or a business or a company and everything is built uh, little by little. Yeah. And service problems with the perseverance having the common goal. Mm -hmm. It is like this. But the, the employees should feel like part of the team, part of the company. Okay. Not just employees like they are required and they are needed. And if they feel that, your company is going to be like a very strong one. Okay, thank you. The three, four. Uh -huh. Three, four, seven, and six. Ernest, you, your topic was the number three. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we're going to continue, right? I don't know if there is another, for example, number one, two, I guess. That is another that can participate because remember that we have just 17 minutes and we say goodbye. Let's continue. If another person is still texting, we're going to read it later. ¿Verdad? Si alguien me lo escribe, ya lo vamos a leer también, okay? And remember, as I told you before, all the participations, all the opinions are important all of them well let's continue with the class just check something okay let's move to the other speaking activity um this is very interesting because you can talk about your personal achievements, your academic background, and if you have worked in different uh, in jobs, it is important to have different experiences. So you tell me what is your greatest achievement. You can talk about family, personal uh, objectives, achievement, jobs, whatever. If you say, teacher, my greatest achievement is to, to be buried, yeah, that's one. If my greatest achievement is to have one car and one motorcycle, of course, right? So please, I need you to raise your hand and I'm going to be marking your name in the list so I can see and I can monitor who is participating, remember. If you participate, the class is better. Si participa en la clase es mejor. But if you don't participate, it is like the class gets boring. Se vuelve aburrida la clase. Monótona. And I don't like to, to have monotony in my class, right? In my classes. Okay, who starts? Remember, it is not necessary to talk like one hour. If you want to say a few words, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Me teacher. Yeah. Okay, uh, Denise and Morelia, you are the first one. Thank you, the brave girls. Chica Valiente. Okay, Denise. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think my greatest achievement is get my own house. <laughs> wow. Definitely. Yes. Wow, I, I guess that, that is a good one. And how, how much time? Or how many years? Uh, just like six months. <laughs> wow, come on. You have to be celebrating. Yes. yes. Still celebrating. I'm learning to live alone. <laughs> yeah, it is not easy. It is difficult. But believe me, it is a good experience. Definitely. Yes, I know. You're going, to, you're going to know you yourself better. Okay. I so know. <laughs> I know, teacher. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Okay. 
Thank you, Denise. Very nice. And congratulations. I like to hear happy stories. Thank you. Uh, Morelia, please. It's similar to Denise. Okay. But yes, my greatest uh, achievement is get my independence. Wow. I Feel didn't free? want. <laughs> wow, come on. Why? I didn't want, but. You were in the comfort zone. And... You were in the comfort zone, right? Yes. Relax. It's good to live alone, but I didn't want. <laughs> but I, I'm here and I didn't die, so I'm doing. So you're doing good. good. You're surviving. Yes. Okay. Um, believe me, you have you're learning, especially in finances, how to administrate your money, your time, uh, your priorities. Yes, Marlene. I know it's it is yes. hard, but necessary. Uh, how old are you, Morelli? I am twenty five years old. Oh, it's a good age. It's the best age. I remember when I was twenty five. Believe me. I remember. I, I okay. said, I am my our baby and I can't care myself. <laughs> okay, it is difficult yes, to, to, to find time for yourself as well, right? But believe yeah. me, it is a difficult process, but then you're going to find your own rhythm, your, your, your right process. You're going to go direct to the success. Thank you, Morelia, to, to share part of your life. So I like true. it. Thank you. Uh, Brandon, your turn, my friend. Go. Okay. Uh, in my case, my greatest achievement is having bought my house. Okay. Yes. Uh, that that's a really good one. How old are you, Brandon? I guess you are really young. Uh, twenty-five years. Yeah, you're you're young. Okay, nice. Perfect. And how much time have you lived in that house? Because since you bought it, right? I live three years. Nice. Okay. You feel good, right? You feel like if you are in your in your safe place and nice. Something that you can give even to your kids later. Congratulations, Brandon. I Thanks, like sir. Yeah, I like those stories. Uh, okay, who else? Freddy's. Tell us, my friend. And my great achievement is my family. Oh. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, do you have kids? Yeah. How many? Six years. Okay. Yeah. But how many kids? Three. One. One kid. Okay. One. Hey, that's not how old is he? It is young. Six. It's one. Six years Six old. Six years. Six oh, years old. It's a good, good. Uh, they are very smart. Kids it's are so intelligent. It's wonderful. Okay, yes. So you can practice English with, with him, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. good practice. Thank you, Freddy, okay. to, to, to share part of, of your personal achievement. And I like it. Yeah, family, it's really nice. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you, Freddy. Very nice. Um, who else? This is kind of, yep, Miguel. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Miguel. Okay. In my personal case, I agree with Freddy Ricardo because my great achievement was having my house and then my family. And today, I'm happy. I have everything I need yeah. because I have two sons. Uh, mm -hmm. The first have uh, 70 years. Mm, the first and second, is. Mm -hmm. Yes. And second, six years. Okay. It's nice. Okay. My uh, life congratulations, uh, Miguel. Okay. Uh, the first is, right? 17 and the other six. Okay. Yes. Uh, good for you because you have your family, your house. And something important is to enjoy the life with your family, right? Share time, spend time, right? Dedicate time to the family. So, yeah, of course. Uh, thank and, you, Mil. And three, months, and three months ago, I have other members 
because I have a dog. <laughs> for and what my happened? Son. Uh -huh. Yes, I have a dog oh, in okay. my house. Another member of ago. the family. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So the family is growing. Okay. Thank yes. you. I like Thank that. you. Thank you to you, my friend, uh, Roxana. Please. Okay, for me, teacher, my greatest achievement is that I have almost finished paying uh, my house. I wow. have five years left. <laughs> yes. Nah, come on, it's nothing. Five years is passing yeah. by, right? Very quickly. 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 Yes. So, well, uh, believe me, uh, when you finish that, please uh, send a message, okay? Okay. So we can know that you are free of that debt. Thank you, Rosie. <laughs> yes. I hope you can have your your own house in less than five years. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Of course you can do it. Thank you. Okay. okay. okay uh, nine minutes. Who else? We're about to finish, my friend. Relax. Do we have anyone? Any other brave? Okay, here we have. Okay, if you well, maybe the others are not um ready, right? For example, Raquel, um, Vicky, Ernest, um, Maritza, uh huh, Nancy, Roberto. Okay, if not, we continue with the last activity. Okay, remember that it is important to share uh, your opinions, to share your ideas. Raquel, are you ready? Creo que activas el micrófono, Raquel. Yeah, you want to participate? Okay, go ahead, please. Show time. Bye, Akar. To buy a car. Yes, that's it. What color is it? Red. Oh, okay, nice. Congratulations. And will my house. My mm. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. You have family, right, Raquel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How how many kids? Cuantos, chicos? How many kids? Okay. Well, thank you. We continue now. Ya para terminar, solo nos quedan seis minutos. So we're going to do this. Um, here we have an activity. But the activity says like this. In pairs, choose two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace. Create mini poster and present both procedures to the class. Then you have to present your mini poster to two other pairs, but this is very important activity, but not so mandatory. We can do in a different way. I need you to write two procedures that you do in your job. Okay, let's do it in the chat. For example, um, it's easy. It is similar like routines. Um, I'm going to send one example. And the other could it be? Okay, here I send uh, two of the procedures or routines because routines are parts of procedures that we do. One, in my case, check the mail in the mornings. That's one of the procedures that is really important because we receive, well, that's so mandatory. Uh, we receive a lot of information. Two, 
attend meetings before we start a project. I belong to different projects, so I have to start, and that's part of their procedures that we have to do a good job. So remember, text two procedures or important routines that you do in your job. Okay, I'm going to be waiting. And I'm going to count this like attendance. Y voy a contar esto como lista de asistencia, porque todos la van a leer, okay? I'm going to give you one minute or two, okay? Go ahead. Okay, let's uh, see what you have written. Uh, remember that after you read this, it's, it means that you say hi or, or goodbye to, to the uh, attendance list, okay? But please uh, remain in the, in the class. Todavía permanezca en clase, no sé que Morelia se read, Morelia reads, bye-bye. No, come on. Be, be here, please. Okay, Morelia, you are the first one, and then we go with Roberto. Mm, we can hear you, Marete. Please activate the microphone. Turn on. Sorry. No problem. Okay. Um, first, I turn on the computer and check the WhatsApp chat. And then I organize route to delivery. Interesting. Thank you. Just check, right? Check the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. It's a okay. chat. Thank you. Um, Roberto, ah, yes, there is the correction. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Uh, Roberto and then Brando, please. Okay. Uh, I Every day I plan classes and I have to evaluate the learning every month. And, oh, now you're a teacher. Roberto. Yes. What subject? I'm a teacher. I'm a math teacher. Ah, mathematics. Okay, nice. You look like very formal teacher. <laughs> nice, congratulations. Okay. Thanks. And uh, we go now with Brandon and Denise. Okay. Uh, I review the work orders in the morning and then I go to the work route. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Denise and Ernesto. Yes. Uh, first, I check if I have new tasks assigned for the day, and then I check my emails. Thank you. Ernesto and Nancy. Okay, Ernesto. Yes. Uh, in the morning, I check the emails and verify the sales report. Perfect. Report. Nancy, mm -hmm. reports. Thank you. Nancy report. and Vicky. I feed my dog before I go to work. I watch the news in the morning. Thank you. Even these are routines, personal routines, but yeah, could be applied for your life. Thank you. Vicky and Fredis. In the morning, check my check the email and attend the meeting in monitoring pending activities. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Fredis, your turn. Okay. Mark attending and clear the desktop. The turn of the PC and review the mail. Thank you. Very nice. 
Ok, my friends, antes de irnos, uh, who was the, the participant that was on the one-to-one -one session? Nick. En la sesión uno a uno. Hola, Alex, hello. No te escuchamos, pero bueno. Este, ¿Quién uh, estuvo ayer? Check the... Check. Ayer no, no hubo... I'm sorry, on Friday. Eh, Alex, tenemos Hola. problemas con, con escucharte, se te corta. Se te corta. Creo que tenemos... Te, tienes ¿Y ahorita? Que la con... Ahora sí. El viernes tampoco hubo, teacher. Okay. Ahora sí. Gracias, Ernesto. Sí, Alex. Ok. Eh, ¿Jueves? ¿On Thursday? Ok, trataré... No sé si me escuchan, sí. No, Alex, pero ya se, ya se terminó la clase. Si gustas, eh, vamos a, a, a ver el tema de tu conexión mañana, ¿ok? Pero no te preocupes, ya te pongo aquí como asistencia. Este ¿Jueves o miércoles alguien que se haya quedado? No. Yes. ¿Freddy, tal vez? No sé, recuerdan quién fue el último. Miércoles y el jueves se quedó... Jueves was vacation. Jorge Ernesto. Es cierto. Jorge, Jorge Ernesto, tú fuiste el último. No, no, no. El otro Jorge. Fue la Inés, la Inés fue, ¿verdad? Jorge Alberto Lenin. Bueno, Ernesto, te quedas ahora entonces. El resto, lo siento, ya les quité un minuto de su vida. Eh, los veo mañana, ¿ok? Les voy a enviar las okay. speaking activities okay. para que preparen su respuesta y ya vengan. Listo. Bye, bye. Okay. Bye, bye. 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 Okay, Ernesto. Um, I don't know. Well, one question for you. Um, have you ever taken uh, English classes before? Or did yeah, you study? Uh -huh. Where, yes, where did you study? Uh, this in this in this course um, with uh, English corporativo. Okay, nice. I I started in the course Principiante tres. Ah, oh, you didn't complete one and two because maybe you uh, had an exam, a placement test. No, I'm sorry. I mean, you started in beginners three. Yes. Okay, nice. That's correct. Okay, perfect. And before English Corporativo, did you take any other English course in another part, in another academy? No, I don't. Oh, okay, um, nice. Only in the university. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a long time ago. Yeah, it was a subject or maybe we have some other, yeah, like English, like general English, right? That we, uh, yes, yeah, we learn basic or elementary, um, yeah, contents. So, wow, nice. Well, uh, I, well, congratulations because you have a very good, um, pronunciation. Even I consider that we have to work on fluency because you have vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have vocabulary, you know a lot of words, but sometimes it is difficult when we have to connect ideas, right? Then right. we have the ideas maybe, but it is kind of difficult to express them and connect the ideas. But okay, in your opinion, what is the biggest problem that you have in English? Maybe uh, reading, listening, speaking, writing, or vocabulary, or conversations, or analyzing paragraphs, or learning more words or grammar what do you think uh, right now i think my um yeah my difficulty problem uh -huh. difficulty problem is um pronouns ah pronunciation pronunciation and vocabulary uh, in in this course, I I have learned more vocabulary and okay uh, at first years, but I I think I need I need 
to learn how to pronounce. Definitely. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. And what about, well, in your case, uh, do you listen music in English or from United States, from England? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, also I listen a podcast as uh is for listening mm -hmm. uh, uh, for people to have is learning English. Okay, right? people learning English. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, uh, it is important. And even if you watch some series or uh, w watch some movies, try to use the subtitles in English or even in Spanish, but pay attention to the pronunciation. Something that I recommend, it's to memorize the main parts of the song or el coro de las canciones, okay? And if you learn that, believe me, you're going to understand a lot of words, and there, but something important is to pronounce. Not to sing, not necessarily cantar, but the pronunciation. And believe me, those words, they are going to appear in some conversations. And you say, ah, this word appears in some other parts. So, yeah, that's it. So, well, I consider that that, that it could be very useful. Ah, and also, you can look for TED.com. Hay uh, unos como discursos en TED, even in YouTube. Yeah. Um I I have seen some of them in English and subtitles in English. Believe me, very interesting, motivating, and you can learn a lot. Okay, so I guess you should practice a little bit more pronunciation. And the other tip, otra sugerencia, read at least one minute every day. Lee un minuto al día, cualquier cosa, any text. It can be three lines and re try to record yourself. Trata de grabarte. And listen to yourself. Okay, so that, those are things that maybe can help because here we have a Google Translator. So we can look for the word if, if it is difficult. Okay, so that's it. Ernest. So I consider that you have a vocabulary, but maybe the pronunciation mm -hmm, and the fluency could be part of the of this course. Um, if you notice, I present activities when we have to speak. So it is important because we give opinions, okay? So that's it, voy a seguir enviando actividades, okay? Para que par participemos y la voy a enviar temprano para que algunos desde ya preparen su respuesta. Y es más fácil, cuando ya venimos a la clase ya tenemos una idea ya más clara, ¿verdad? Y se nota un poquito más el progreso. Ok, eso sería sí. Ernesto, ok, con gusto. En cuanto a, 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 mi, flu, a mi fluidez, ¿en qué, eh, dónde pudiera yo eh, intentar mejorarla? ¿En, en qué, ¿Por cuál medio? ¿En qué plataforma? O en... Fíjate, Porque fluidez no es lo mismo que pronunciación, ¿verdad? No, la pronunciación es, por ejemplo, cuando dices park the car in front of the door. ¿La pronuncias bien? correctamente, pero cuando decís park the car in front of the door, es cuando ya unís las palabras un poco más y hay más, hay más fluidez al hablar. Yeah, no, no, uh -huh. va, no vas pausándote sí. así. Pero sí. no quiere decir que todo lo vas a hablar eh, rápido, sino que las comas, eh, los puntos, son cosas que voy a dar más énfasis en las otras clases que nos ayudan a sonar más natural. Y eso es lo importante. No sonar rápido, pero sin sonar natural. Natural como que Ernesto está hablando así, Correcto. relajado. ¿verdad? Entonces, yo te consideraría que aprendiera, que, que practicaras, como te decía, los, los coros de las canciones y memorizártelo todos. Si escuchas rock, si, si escuchas romantic, si escuchas eh, lo que sea, ¿verdad? En inglés, ¿verdad? All these o whatever. Entonces, si tienes un grupo, escucha todas las canciones, grabate los nombres de las canciones, los coros y practicalo, porque uno solo escucha. Solo recibimos información, pero no la producimos. Y ahí está el, el detalle. Que uno quiere hablar y aquí está todo, pero al momento el inglés es como un trabalengua. Es, así miralo, Ernesto. Sí. El inglés es como un trabalengua. Y hay que practicarlo. Leer, pero cuando lees en voz alta. Y este, sí, películas y series. Y cuando salgan algunas frases que te llaman la atención, pronunciarlas. Pronunciarlas. ¿Verdad? Porque a veces sale como watch out. Entonces, vos decís, mm, watch out. Y así. 
tu lengua y tus labios se van a ir adaptando y van a ir entrando al... Hay que culturizar, ¿no? Inglés es parte de la cultura, entonces como todo eso, los chistes, este, ciertos tonos hasta sarcásticos y todo eso, es importante, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así que pues, es, esos son tips que considero que te pueden ayudar, Ernesto. No, no encuentro tal vez una plataforma, por ejemplo, está English Club, pero eso es más texto y más ejercicios de listening. Ajá. Englishclub.com, el club de inglés. Está agendaweb.org, pero esos son sitios solo de gramática y de listening, de, de practicing casi no hay. Entonces, por eso les okay. digo, háganlo libremente todos los días. Las speaking activities, trata de hacer la respuesta o ver qué puedes decir, qué puedes, cómo se llama, cuál puede ser tu respuesta. Y a medida que si vos te estás preparando para dar tu opinión, pero estás practicando inglés. Sí. Así. ¿Sí? Correcto. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. espero que te sirvan los tips, ¿verdad, Ernesto? Cualquier gracias, cosa. Gracias, Ahí está mi número, ¿verdad? Estamos a la orden. Qué Muchas gracias, Ticha. Okay. Good night. Feliz noche. Good night. Take care. Take care.